Let's talk a little bit today about the Dynamics 365 and Teams integration available for you. I'm going to walk through how we can make some simple configuration settings changes within Dynamics 365. It's going to give you this full exposure to any of your Teams users to your Dynamics 365 information. So stay tuned. We'll learn how to do this in a few short steps. Step one is to head over to the Power Platform Admin Center. Select your environment. Remember, you're going to need system admin levels to configure this change. Then we're going to look for the integration section here on the right. Expand this and then select the Teams integration settings, which opens up this new window. And we can configure a few really neat things. The first thing we're going to change from no to yes is turn on the linking of Dynamics 365 records to Teams channels. So that's taking a specific record or a specific system view in your Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement app and adding that accessible in Teams. So the second thing that we can do here is turn on confidential labels. Um, so you can see I am the tenant admin so I can turn this on, but you're gonna need extra permissions for this. So if you don't have the permissions, reach out to your IT team and see if you can turn this on. This adds the sensitivity and confidential labels in the enhanced Microsoft Teams integration. The last thing you can do here, which I highly recommend if you haven't turned this on yet, is to turn on Microsoft Teams chat in Dynamics 365. This is the coolest way to collaborate within either platform, either Teams or Dynamics. You don't have to leave from one or the other. Once you turn the Teams chat on, you can see below, it's asking me which tables, which entities should I allow connected chats to Dynamics 365 records. So depending on which CE app you're working on, you're gonna see a lot of different things pop up. I'm using a sales trial environment, which is why you see sales and service in here. You can also do add record types if you have a custom table or another table that's not in there that you wanna add you can simply select it here and then there's all these additional features that you can check out i've got a blog and an article that i've written that dives into detail for this so i'm going to link it to the comments in case this is something you want to learn more about so you can select whatever features you want click save and now that table that entity will have the ability for your users to create chats and tag chats from teams to dynamics records which is super cool. Now that we've configured this enhanced collaboration experience, if I'm a Dynamics 365 user, I now have this button in the command bar called Collaborate. So we're in Open Leads right now, and if I click the Collaborate button, it opens up this wizard, and this is a way for my Dynamics users to connect a view or a specific record into a Teams channel. So let's see what that looks like. We're gonna click Get Started. And the first step I have is to choose a team to connect with or create a team. So I'm gonna select an existing team, click Next. And then I have some channels here. I have a general channel and a Dynamics 365 channel. So this is perfect for my Dynamics 365 channel. Alternatively, you could always click this Create New Channel at the top. So I'm gonna click Finish and in three quick and easy steps, this is creating that team channel within Microsoft Teams. So let's click open Microsoft Teams and we can see it right here. Here's the playground. Here's my Dynamics 365 channel. And then after a moment, in the wonderful world of live demoing, you'll see the open leads view is now available here within, Dyna within Teams. So this is all of my Dynamics 365 information, all of my records, available here. I can click on any of these records and it's going to open the full form details. My users can come in here. They can manage this. If you have a Dynamics 365 license, you're welcome to come in here and make changes. If you don't, you can still come in here and view all of the data. So this is super cool, isn't it? Like you have really brought collaboration between these two separate software pieces all in one place. And that is what we continue to see as Microsoft continues to innovate and continues to increase their commitment to collaboration and staying within one area without having to go around to different spots to manage your day. So stay tuned. I will point out more cool features in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Teams collaboration as they continue to roll out.